in this video I'll make a simple gear so let's start with the construction lines in this case so go to the draw panel expand it and select this construction line tool now click anywhere in the drawing area to start the construction line and then click on the second point to make the horizontal and the second point here to make a vertical construction line now press enter to exit this command now go to the circle tool and click at the intersection point of these two construction lines and make a circle with diameter of 3.333 units so let's type d press enter and then the diameter of 3.333 and press enter now we have the circle but its size is very small so i'll double click my middle mouse button to fit this circle in the screen and here we have it now let's go to the circle again click on the same center point and this time make a circle with radius of 1.5 units now press enter again and select the center type d for diameter and enter a diameter of 2.571 units and press enter so here we have these three circles now let's go to the offset tool and select the offset distance of 0.047 units press enter and click on this line click upwards click on this line again and click downwards now press escape and press enter to repeat the offset tool and enter offset distance of 0.130 units and press enter now once again click on this central line click upwards and click on this line and click downwards okay now we need to make another offset for this construction line so i will go to the offset tool and select a distance of 0.107 units press enter click on this line click on the left and then click on the right okay so here we have it now we need to remove some extra geometries from our drawing so i'll go to the trim tool press enter and click on this part and then on this part here now let's remove this portion also that's also not required and let's erase the remaining part and here we have it this is small arc so let's now first erase some extra geometries from the drawing and let's make multiple copies of this for that i'll select the array tool so go to the modify panel and select this polar array now click on this arc press enter and now click on the center of the circle which is this point and in the items select 18 as number of items okay and also make sure that this associative option is unchecked so in this case you can see that this associative option is not checked now close the array now go to this area of the drawing and select the three point arc tool now carefully click on this point the intersection point of this construction line and the circle then click on this point and then click on this point now repeat the process for three point arc and for this side so click on this point then this point and then on this point now we again need to clean some extra geometries from the drawing so firstly i'll just remove all of these lines these are not required and now go to the trim tool press enter and click on this circle and here we have it the clean geometry now go to the fillet tool select radius and enter a radius of 0.062 units press enter now select this multiple option to repeat it for both of these sides so i'll select this and this portion of the geometry and these two portions okay now we again need to remove some extra geometry so i'll select these three construction lines remove them and select all of these objects from here remove them as well now carefully remove this and this arc and erase them now we only have this single gear teeth and we'll make multiple copies of this for that i'll select it again i'll go to this polar array select the center point and in items enter 18 and press enter and here we have it once again make sure this associative option is unchecked and click on close array and now we have our gear profile almost prepared but we have these gaps to fill and in order to fill this gap we can use 
this blend curves tool so select this tool and blend the gap between any of these two geometries so i'll click on this part and then here on this part and the gap has been blended with the help of a spline but we don't want it as a spline so we need to convert it into a polyline for that double click on the spline and from the command line select this convert to polyline option and press enter with the default value of 10 in the precision and here we have it now this geometry is a polyline now once again go to this polar array option select the polyline press enter now go to the center here and in number of items enter 18 and press enter and now you can clearly see that all the gaps are now filled once again associative option should be unchecked and close the array and now we have our gear almost prepared now we only need to make the internal profiles and for that i'll select the circle tool so select the circle tool click on this center and make a circle with a diameter of 0.5 units now press enter again click on the same center point and make a circle with radius of 0.5 units press enter click on the same center point and make a circle with radius of one unit and press enter now we need to make a key way and for that i'll select this rectangle tool and click anywhere in the drawing area you can even click outside so i'll click here now type at on the command line and enter 0.12 as length and 0.06 as width and press enter and here we have it the key way now select it select the move tool click on this midpoint and move it on this quadrant and now zoom into this area select the rectangle select the move tool click on this end point and move it downwards carefully up to the intersection point now we can remove these two geometries here by using trim tool so select it and remove them and here we have it the key way now we can remove this circle as well it's no longer required and here we have it the 2d profile of our gear